We are interested in understanding malaria. As you might know, this is a very prevalent disease, particularly in the intertropical uh, regions uh, of the globe. Now, malaria absolutely needs for its transmission the presence of mosquito vectors that transmit the parasite from one person to the next. But in these regions, very often it can happen that there's a dry season that is long enough that interrupts completely transmission. During these times, the parasite is forced to survive within a host for several months, waiting for the return of the mosquitoes in the ensuing wet season. Now, what we want to understand is how the parasite survives in a host that has to be kept alive. We want to understand the mechanisms or the strategies that the parasite implements to lay low in a sort of standby mode and promote the survival of the host until the return of the mosquitoes. So the work we do is relevant in two different ways. On one hand, we have the basic research question that we are very interested in understanding. We want to know how the plasticity of cells help parasites survive during this long period without harming its host. What are the strategies that implements and how can it cope with being laying low for such long periods. Of course, we're also super interested in the application side of our research. One might think, of course, that the most important thing is to treat every child that comes to a hospital presenting with malaria. But it will also be super important to eliminate the silent reservoirs of infection. So understanding how one might do that and knowing what the strategies that the parasite is implementing during those moments can help us devise the best possible strategies to eliminate these parasites. In order to understand how the parasite survives the dry season, we have a long-standing collaboration with a team of Malian researchers. Together, we follow a cohort of nearly 600 children and we collect samples from them over time. Then, with key samples from the dry season and from the wet season, we can ask multiple questions. On one hand, we're interested in the immunological side of things, and we have plasmas that help us find out which antibodies are present at which times and what allow the parasite to grow more or grow less. On the other hand, focusing on the parasite itself, we do transcriptomic studies, both at the bulk and at the single cell level, and we try to understand what are the programs that the parasite is implementing for its laying low mode in the dry season or its aggressive growing mode when they're causing clinical malaria in the wet season. We're also doing microscopy studies where we try to find out how do the parasites look different uh, from one time uh, to the other. And we are also uh, interested in finding if there's genetic biases that help the parasites that survive longer periods of time versus parasites that survive for shorter periods of time. Ultimately, at the end, the goal is to put all this information together and try to find out what are the strategies that the parasite is implementing at the two different moments. <laughs>